We're gonna need a little bit of space today. Um, for our warm up, we're gonna do just one drill. Do some lateral skips. So if you have room, awesome. If not, that's fine. We can do those in place. So we'll go ahead and get started. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Full Body Blast. I'm Coach Emma. Happy Wednesday. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna go into inchworms. So start with our feet together. Slowly start to hinge up the hip. Try to walk those hands out to our full plank position. And we're just going to walk those hands back up. Stand it up. Try to get as much of a stretch as you can all the way through the movement. Nice strong plank. Walk it up. Last one. All right, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge T-spine rotation. So take one leg, step it back. We're gonna go into our reverse lunge. Knee is hovering. We're going to anchor the hand behind the knee. Open up. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So again, anchor, rotate. We're going to run a few more. So you're going to anchor, rotate, try to open up that chest. Two more. Last one. All right, we're going to bring it down to the floor. We're going to go into our scapular circle. So Let's go ahead and either stay on the knees or you can lift up off the floor, whichever one you're comfortable with. Keeping elbows straight, we're going to drop chest down to floor, pull shoulder blades down back, and then push away from that floor, coming up into your shoulder blades. So again, dropping chest down, pulling shoulder blades down and back, scooping them underneath so we're pushing away from the floor. Try to do one with your feet raised. So. Are your knees raised? Drop it down, scoop, big push. After you push into the shoulders, try to get a stretch in the downward dog position. Good, come back down, hover those knees, push right back into those heels. We're also gonna push away from the floor in this position. So we're actively using the shoulder stabilizers as well. Good, last one. Good, go ahead and walk it on up. So we're going to move into some glute activation and then some fun dynamic drill. So we're going to go into our hip planes. So arms come out to your side. What I want us to do from this position is hinge into that inverted hamstring. Try to open up at the hip. So open the gate, then try to turn those hips down towards the floor and close it. So again, find your balance. Just going to open, tap down if you need it, and just focus on pivoting on that one leg. You're going to feel your glutes start to activate. So open, nice and slow, bring it down. Let's go one more. Last one. Whoop. Tap down. Shake it out. Switch sides. So again, arms are out. Thumbs up. Go ahead and hinge into that inverted hamstring. Open it up. Slowly close it down. So you don't have to go super far, all right? So again, tap that foot behind if you need. Focus on just using this front leg to help control the movement. Wherever you are today, I find it's easier to do without shoes on. Or you can just sit here and try to hold your balance for a little bit. Good. Tap it down. Finish it up. 
All right, shake those legs out. We're gonna move into our last component of our warm up. We're going to lateral skips. So opposite arm, opposite leg. We're gonna go side to side. Ready? And go. So find your rhythm. Once you get to the end, push off that outside leg. Try to get those knees up nice and tall. We're gonna go down and back three times. Pretend like you're stepping over little hurdles. Again, if you don't have room, that's okay. Last one. And relax. All right, team. Workout for today. We have four moves, 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. Go ahead and find yourself down on your mat. We're going to start with Superman's, all right? So I'm going to start our timer. Starting session. All right. So we're going to go alternating swimmers plus one Superman. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Switch. Then go into a full Superman, all right? So opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it down. Switch. Full Superman. Slowly bring it down. A lot of posterior chain work here. Squeeze in the glutes. Good, keep it up. Try to keep a nice neutral neck. Two, one. And find yourself standing. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge squat complex. So we have reverse lunge, Squat, reverse lunge, Woo. all right? So, reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. Try to stay nice and low. Use those arms if you like to help counterbalance. And if you keep that constant uh, bend in the knee, you're really gonna feel this in the quads. Keep it up. Nice. All right. Bringing it down to the floor to our plank. We're going to go high plank, shoulder tap, and then alternating hips, all right? Strong plank, shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. Trying to stay as still as possible. If you move slow, it really challenges your balance. So you don't need to work fast for this one. Make sure our tailbones are tucked. Nice straight line. Relax. Rest. All right, last move. It's going to get the heart rate up. We're going to go high knees on every third one. You're going to hold for just a few seconds. So high knees, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three. So try to keep that balance. High drive of the knee. Good, keep it up. I'll give you a side view. Really try to squeeze the pillar to help hold that balance. Rest. All right, team, grab a sip of water if you need it. If not, that was round one, so you gotta feel for it. Round two and three, find your pace, find your challenge.
So we're going right back into our reverse lunge squat continuous complex, all right? So keep that chest up. Again, if you have your weight, go ahead and grab that. Try to stay nice and low. If you want to work the quads extra. Woo. Keep it up. You got five seconds on the clock. Two, one. Shake up those quads. All right, bring it down to our plank position. Again, the slower you can go with, the more you're really going to feel the stabilizing muscles work. Work. Okay, keep it up. Half, well, yeah, halfway there. Try not to let the hips open up as well. Try to keep both hips down the floor, facing towards the floor. Two, one. Excellent. All right. We have our high knees static hold, all right? Again, really trying to link the kinetic chain here. So you go one, two, three, hold. Try to find that balance. Light on the feet. Keep it up. Five seconds. everyone. Last round. Then we'll move into some tempo work. Work. Squeeze and hold for just a second. smooth transitions. Keep up your pace, whatever that is. I'll give you the five second countdown. We're at five, three, two, one. Nice. Rest. All right. Moving right along into our plank. Go ahead and get yourself set up. Strong position. Feet can be wide. Nice job, everyone. Slow and steady wins the race. One. Rest. All right. Last 
last move of the circuit. Get ready to get light on those feet. Three, two, one. Work. Really focus on finding that balance. Two more. Slow. 
slow, slow, slow. Keep the control. Last one. Don't lose your towel. All right. Kick that towel out to the side. You're done with it. One last uh, move. Our plank walkouts. All right. Six reps on your count. Try to hold that end position nice and strong for about three seconds. You're just going to walk it back up. You can walk all the way back up if you'd like. Hold it. Good. Again, strong shoulders here. Try to push up into the shoulder blades. Squeezing glutes and quads as well. Tensing the whole body up. Get the most out of our plank. Whew. Keep it up, team. Four. Two more. Five. Last one. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze the quad, push up into the shoulders. Three, two, one. Bring it down to the floor. All right, team, quick water break. We have a little bit of a core finisher for us today. We're gonna do a few rounds of hollow holds, all right? So, I'll give you a few options here. Option two, find yourself in a V position. Bring those feet off the floor, palms facing up. We can also bring it down to the floor, or you can extend fully. All right, your choice. Keep that pillar engaged. We're gonna go in three, two, one, go. We're holding for 20 seconds if you can. 20 second holds, nice and strong. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Bring it down. Relax, you have 10 second rest. We're gonna get right after it for another 10, 20 seconds, sorry. 20 second hold here, team. Ready, three, two, one, go. Keep those toes flexed towards your nose. Five, four, three, two, whoo. Bring it down. Nice work, 10 second rest. We have one more round of this. We got time for it. All right, let's finish strong, everyone. Three, two, one, and go. Keep it up. Stay strong. Five, four, three, two. Woo, bring it down. All right. So let's just go ahead, find ourselves in our bear sit position and just slowly let the knees drop. Find yourself in that 90-90. And switch to the other side. So just an easy, you can just stay seated if you'd like. Just let those knees drop to either side. So nice job, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. We're just going to cool it down here, slow down the breath, stretch out uh, the hips. Just let them relax. We're going to be back here in five minutes for abs class, so feel free to hang out.
for the time being.